Hi, my name is Marissa and this is Tommy. We're critical care nurses. Today we are here to demonstrate how to perform in vivo calibration of the Vigilance 2 monitor. The procedure is the same with two different types of catheters. First is the continuous cardiac output pulmonary catheter that monitors continuous cardiac output, CCO, and the mixed venous oxygen saturation, SVO2. The SVO2 is measured in the pulmonary artery. The second is the central venous catheter that monitors continuous SCVO2. Both types of catheters have a fiber optic sensor, an optic module, and a spectrophotometry technology that evaluate the adequacy of tissue oxygenation including the oxygen delivery and oxygen consumption, or impaired tissue oxygenation. To determine the accuracy of the SVO2 or SCVO2 monitoring, an in vivo calibration SVO2 or SCVO2 is performed every 24 hours, preferably with the 4 a.m. lab draw, or when there's a significant change in the patient clinical condition. Remember, in vivo means after the catheter is inserted. You may need to remind the doctor to order a PRN venous blood gas or a mixed venous blood gas lab work. Next is a recent hemoglobin hematocrit result. Confirm the proper catheter position and a monitor showing the signal quality index, SQI, of one or two. The equipment or supplies needed for in vivo calibration consist of a blood gas syringe, a purple tube top, a 10 mil syringe, an order for venous blood gas, and curos to cover the port, to cover the port after obtaining specimens from the catheter. To begin, use the navigation knob to highlight the SVO2 or SCVO2 parameter frame. Press to display the menu. Select the parameter option to verify the correct oximetry label SVO2 or SCVO2, which is dependent on the type of catheter being used. Use the navigation knob to select and press in vivo calibration. The screen displays a message of in vivo baseline setup in progress, ready in 25 seconds. Next, press the knob Draw. From the distal lumen of the catheter, slowly draw a waste sample of 10 ml and discard. Followed with the mixed venous blood gas sample in an ABG syringe. Draw the blood slowly over 30 seconds.
Next, draw the hematocrit hemoglobin sample from the arterial line and send it to the lab. Flush the PA catheter line. Draw the hematocrit hemoglobin sample from the arterial line. After obtaining the most recent venous blood gas and hematocrit hemoglobin results, use the navigation knob to enter the SVO2 or SCVO2 from the venous blood gas result and hematocrit hemoglobin results. Finally, use the navigation knob to select and press calibrate. How to perform hemoglobin calibration or update when there's a significant change in patient hemoglobin hematocrit levels, such as patient bleeding with a significant blood loss, or the patient received a large amount of blood transfusions, for example, three PRBC transfusions. The previous hemoglobin was seven, but now is 10. To begin, navigate the knob to highlight SVO2, SCVO2 parameter frame. Press and sele select and press the hemoglobin update. Enter the new hemoglobin result. Select Calibrate. Please remember to follow the policies and procedures at your institution. I hope this video has been beneficial. Thank you.